Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I uh, got the Pro Boat Miss Geico 17 on the block. Okay, uh, today we're going to be blueprinting the sponsons on this boat. Okay, uh, blueprinting a hull. Blueprinting a hull. It, it basically is uh, taking out any dips, hooks, low spots, high spots. Uh, you know, bringing the boat back to its factory or intended design okay it's a big project and uh, i figured this little this little boat would be the best the best subject for me to show you guys how to blueprint a boat I had a lot of requests about it so here you go let's get to it okay let's get to it big b here with our clad rc These are called ride pads. This is like the ride surface that the boat rides on. Okay, this top one, or if you're looking at it upside down, the bottom one. Okay, the boat's basically gonna be riding on these six little ride pads, okay? My boat, the middle one, you see that gap in between the ruler? Hopefully you guys can see it here. Okay, see, it, see how it's sitting on the back? And then you can, you know, gradually see a bigger gap in the middle. There's a huge gap. And then back up at the front sponsor there, uh, it goes back up to nothing. So you guys see the light under the ruler right there. Uh, that's going to slow us down. Okay, I'm not going to get into all the reasons why it slows us down, the hydrodynamics behind it. Okay, this step right here, that back step right there needs to basically be touching the, the ruler. Okay, same as that the back spots in here okay so basically that right there should be touching the ruler this one right here where my thumbs at that should be touching ruler okay sanded here down to the to the plastic basically a little bit of primers left but I actually noticed a little um, a little another little a little uh, point that I need to bring up and something I need to fix on this boat um, the inside of the sponsor in here it's actually got a hook in it okay it's like curved I don't know if you guys can see okay Okay, so you see the gap in between the ruler there, and then it goes up to nothing here. Okay, so when you blueprint a boat, you need to make the inside of the sponson straight, the outside of the step, the outside of the, the ride pad straight. So I'm kind of up in the air which way I want to go here. So it's actually been three freaking months since I started this process <laughs> i started it you know i started the videoing this summer you know i was like intrigued i was ready to get the boat going i actually found a couple other projects kind of got me sidetracked so we've got carbon fiber chopped up okay i just cut a little slither there and i uh i balled it up into a ball and cut it up real fine okay you could also use chopped up fiberglass which is what i've always used but i've you know, here recently I got a roll of carbon fiber and I've been using that for it. It matches the black graphite, which by the way, we're going to be using the Pinewood Derby. Uh, graphite, like I said, you get it anywhere. Okay. So we're going to go two to one here. So I'm, I got my, my cup, it's tore out. Let's do four grams hardener. Okay, four grams hardener. So four, eight, 12. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way up to 12 with this. 12 grams of resin and hardener. I'm going to pour it into my mixing bowl right here, okay? And, um, you know, you, you can actually uh, do, you know, your, 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 your carbon fiber to epoxy, graphite to epoxy ratio, how, however you want to do it. Like, you know, you can go as thick or as light with the carbon fiber as you want, okay? Um, 
I actually tend to kind of go heavy uh, so that it's kind of like a peanut butter consistency so it's not running once we apply it to our working surface okay so it don't run you know you want it to be kind of thick you know so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add some carbon fiber here let's go ahead throw some graphite in it you know graphite is the whole reason I use the graphite is it's a lubricant okay it's you can sand it slick but it actually has like a rougher, a rough texture. You know, it's it's slick, but it's rough. And the rough, those little microscopic, like little dimples in the ride surface, actually breaks the surface tension, relieves the surface tension, and creates a little bit of lift. It, it like like creates a little bit of air under the hull with that graphite. You know, that's basically why I use it. Just right. kind of mixing it up like i said to like a peanut butter consistency you can go thinner with it you know or thicker it's up to you but i want it to actually stay i want it to stay where i put it you know and that might actually be good you know give it about a minute or so once you add it you know it takes a couple minutes for it to actually soak in the epoxy so you know don't you know add it little by little you know give it a few minutes to soak up add some more Hopefully, hopefully this angle right here will be good for you guys and I'll kind of move the boat around. All right, so um, you just kind of smear it on there, you know, taking account where you're going to be sanding at. You know, you want it to stick good, so just kind of get it on there. All right, remember we had a really low spot on that middle step, so we'll actually need to build that up quite a bit. See right here where that little green gap is? All right, I'm going to fill all that up with, with carbon fiber. So, so I'm basically just going to fast forward through the process. I'm just going to lay this out. If I, if I find any, any tips I can give you, I'll slow it down. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like when I get it all on here. So I basically got my epoxy graphite spread out and, and everywhere. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, you know, in these like little corners, okay, and on the backs, and I'm going to kind of make sure there's no air bubbles, no air pockets, you know. Um, I'm just going to use my little stick, kind of press that fiberglass, I mean that chop strand carbon fiber, kind of press it in, you know, trying to leave that overhang, okay, and then I'll kind of go back over it and spread it out but i'm just kind of making sure i don't have any air pockets any voids in in my layup here okay so i'm just kind of trying to uh define that you know i'm just trying to define that little that little rail right there pressing it in so i know where it's at for one and two we're getting the air bubbles out while we're doing it nice clean layup So now, now I'm going to kind of do the same thing to the inside of the tunnel, the inside of the sponsons. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to like spread out. I'm not going to like flatten out all that overhang right there. All right. Cause I know I'm sanding this right here flat. So all I'm going to do is basically, I just want to make sure my epoxy's in contact with the hull, you know, just going to push it in, but I don't want to spread it out, you know? I had a little low spot right there. 
any low spots we can get it later on because we'll probably add another we'll do another application so i'm not trying to push in my, my overhang i'm not trying to spread that out i'm just trying to get any air bubbles out you know make sure it's laying down on the hole So once you're kind of happy with the way you got it, you know, mine's actually starting to set up a little bit. It's becoming sticky. Okay, when I touch it with my stick, it's wanting to stick to it. So uh, what I would do in this instance, okay, I got some alcohol here. All right, I'm going to put some alcohol in my cup. Okay, when this epoxy's starting to set up a little bit, it wants to stick real bad. So I'm going to actually put some alcohol on my stick. All right, and... I'll be able to to smooth the top of my ride pad out. I do this last, kind of, kind of. Uh, I usually bring it from the back of the step to the back of the ride pad, pulling the meat of it to the back, especially where I need some uh, material built up, like this middle one. Remember, it was low, so I'm trying to actually build up some material. Dip it back in my alcohol here. Square up the back of my ride pad so I know where it's at. Kind of flatten out. My ride surface, okay, when I flatten it out, it's actually going to push push that epoxy out on both sides. Remember, we actually just went through and made sure it was no air bubbles. So when we sp spread it out, it's going to give us that little lip that we're after. Okay, see how it's like giving us that lip on the outside right there? just took the gloves off all right she's um she's still wet so i can't touch it but uh you guys kind of see what i'm doing here okay i've got a nice even coat all over my ride surface okay i brung the edges out on both sides okay i made sure there was no air pockets i pressed it down onto the hull itself same thing on both sides i left the overhang as much as i possibly could so you know there's more in certain areas so what i'm going to do what i'm going to do is i'm going to let it fully cure out okay and then i'm going to take my sanding block and hit it this way hit it this way and then go on the other side there hit it that way okay So it's actually the next day, okay? It's nice and hard, dried up completely, all right? As you guys seen, I took my big sanding block, I hit the boat this way, and I hit it long way, okay? I actually did a couple swipes this way, a couple swipes that way, just to knock off any little stray hairs that's gonna throw me off on my next coat. The next coat, we're actually gonna be filling in low spots, you guys see where my sanding spots are, that light color. And then the darker areas are low spots. So I'm actually going to mix up some Bob Smith Industry 30 Minute. It's a little bit thicker than this uh, laminating resin. Okay, it's a little bit thicker, so I can actually put less carbon fiber in it. Uh, you can do the same thing with the fiberglass. You know, fiberglass will turn black with the graphite. Just know that. It's going to be black. Okay, so we're going to mix it up thin so it don't, like, glob up. When I pull it, like we, like our previous application when we were building it up, okay, we just want it thin enough and thick enough that it stays in place like the previous one, but thin enough that we can pull it and trial it out and fill in any low spots, okay? Now, I got my ruler right here. You can see I actually got that middle step caught up, okay, and the front step's basically caught up. So, this is a good time to actually look and see where you need to put and fill, Okay, so I need to fill the back of this step to nothing, the back of this step to nothing, okay? Um, while I was sanding it, I just kind of tried to define the backs of my steps so I don't lose the overall factory uh, d design, okay? So I defined the backs of my steps so I don't lose that and the front of the boat. I, I, I defined it up here 
where it's tapering to nothing and I'll just kind of fill in right there where I sand it to the boat okay so we're going to fill it in I'm going to fast forward through it and I'll stop it and touch base if I find anything important that I need to share alright it's turning out pretty good it looks rough right now but you'll sand it the final sand is the is where you finish it okay you just try you're now you're just basically trying to catch everything up filling in any low spots so you have a nice built up surface to sand down okay So you can see here I got it real thin so I can just fill in those low spots okay it's thick it's like a peanut butter consistency here but it's it's runny and workable you know just spread it on my ride surface try to get it on the top and then whatever falls down falls down take your time on this application here this is very important So as you guys can see, I got it pretty flat here. Okay, pretty flat. All right, left the overhang, trying to kind of get any of the thick parts of the overhang cleaned up. Okay, uh, it's at the point now where it's actually sticking to my my spreader. So I'm using my alcohol like I did yesterday to uh, to get it thin. Okay, I meant like flat. You guys see how I got it flat over here? See how this side's kind of uh, lumpy in certain areas? So put some alcohol in my spreader and flattening it out all right just like so a little bit more alcohol don't want to go too crazy with the alcohol trying to build up that back step putting some pressure on it throughout this pool and trying to bring material to the back of this step that was a whole reason we needed to blueprint the boat straightening up the backs of the step okay same thing here that's a low spot so i'm pulling material from the front keeping it trying to keep my my spreader even so i don't have like that number there So the second application of epoxy carbon fiber graphite is uh is all cured out okay it actually come out pretty good i got this big sanding board i'm gonna use i got a couple little small sanding blocks that i like to use uh make sure your sanding blocks are wide enough to reach both sponsons so you can sand it this way okay and then you need a long one a long one that will reach the length of your boat so you can sand all your sponsons this way okay um, if you were going to put some dead rise in your sponson, you would actually set up a little jig, like set up a little board on this side, okay, figure out your dead rise angle right here and sand that dead rise in as needed. I'm going to go flat with this because I want it to actually drift around the corner. Okay, I'm going to, so this is the back of my step. All right, we got a ride surface, the back of the step, the front of a step. The back of the step okay so i'm going to make a nice transition basically from the back of my step right here where my thumbnails at from nothing to the 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 tallest part or if you're looking at the boat upside down the lowest part this back quarter inch of the ride surface is going to be touching the water the less ride surface you have in contact with the water the faster the boat will be so you want a nice gradual taper to the very back of your step okay it looks like i got a low spot on the back of this step but we're about to find out 
so this bow right here is ABS and if I were to push down on on this while I'm sanding okay it actually will change the AOA okay so you might get like a negative AOA if you put pressure on it and bend the tunnel you know you might get a, a, a wrong ride surface so basically let your your sander do the work okay quite a bit of sanding I've been using my setup board for my my drag boat okay I use it to set my boat up on and it's perfectly flat all right I've been checking it back and forth back and forth and I've actually got a little teeter right here okay so um so I've actually marked out where I need to add some extra epoxy you know like I'm gonna skim the whole boat but I'm gonna add a little bit more on these sections Okay, I got a teeter, so I would sand, I'd put it up here, I'd sand a little bit, put it up there, sand a little bit, and I really don't want to sand anymore, I want to add, add to it, so I don't get too low, you don't want to sand into your hull, okay, like I did here, I matched, I sanded through here, and then I tried to match it up on this side, so, so that that tapers right, you know what I'm saying, you got to get all your tapers right, um, put it on a flat top, look at it, make sure, make sure your steps are, touching the board or your tabletop or whatever see see i got that one right there is low okay so i'm actually gonna be adding to this i got an arrow okay so uh, i'm not gonna video this part it, it's gonna be the same way i did the last one i'm using the bob smith real light i'm just gonna trial it on there real light okay fill in these low spots make sure you know i got that overhang so i can actually uh sand it to a nice crisp corner okay nice and crisp like that guy right there all right we don't want nothing like this in the in the sides those little dips right there will slow you down we want nice crisp corners and edges that'll help lift the boat up okay so like i said i'm not going to video it i'm just uh showing you guys what i've gotten done so far the video is freaking long it's a long process i told you guys when i started All right, so I just finished up my third and fourth application of epoxy, okay? Um, so I actually noticed that I had more more material built up on this side than I did on this side. I put my ruler on there, and um, it still looks like I got more on this side than this side, but that's okay because I actually, my third and fourth application, I built this side up, okay? I put some more material down built it up caught it up with this and then when i do my final sand i'll sand it sand this side level because i've got quite a bit of material built up on both of them especially the middle and the front backs you know all right i got her out here at the shop okay i got me a, a pane of glass this is what i used to set up my velas my blackjack 42 when i was blueprinting that boat and i'll set my boat on there it's perfectly flat and i'll get a flashlight make sure each sponson back is into contact with the boat make sure there's no tippiness okay i made a couple special sanders uh this one right here it's actually got an angle angle on it and another angle right here 
and the sandpaper it's not like protruding past the wood so when i sand the back of my steps right here so when i sand the back of my step okay my sandpaper is not going to dig in to the rest of the boat okay so it'll just make contact with the back of my step so i can get a nice a nice angle on it i'm actually want to try to get an angle like this to the back of my step okay so the water breaks off of it all right i made a fresh sanding board here perfectly flat check it make sure they're flat after you put your sandpaper on there make sure it's flat Use ride pads to touch the water touch the glass okay so it's going to be a, a long process it's very time consuming and um hopefully i don't have to add no more epoxy so i'm gonna fast forward through it So I got it freaking profiled. Okay, I got all that hogged off. She's getting close now. Okay, and uh, I actually like the height I have it. I don't really want to sand any more off the height. It's perfect on the flat top. I'm talking perfect. So I'm gonna leave the height because this little rail right here has like a like a dip. It had a dip in it. Remember that little dip? Okay. So I'm gonna leave the height. All right, and I'm actually gonna go in and do one more freaking application of epoxy. Right here, just a little bit right there. Could probably sand it down and sand it out, but uh, this right here is what I won't be able to sand out. That that right there, it's actually, uh, you see the back of my ride pad? See how that I didn't build up the back corner? Okay, and there's no way I can sand that out without having to reprofile the whole bottom okay everything else is looking good all right on the flat ruler here boom 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 okay so i got a couple little spots look how crisp it is okay i got this side sanded down all right the back look at the back look at the back look at the back oh my god oh 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 <laughs> Check it out, son. Check it out. <laughs> yes, sir, buddy. Did you guys see the level box? Did y'all see the level box on it? All of them were exactly the same. Exactly the same. Come on. Come on. All right. So check it out here. Check it out. All right. So it's touching on the back right here. You can see the light under it right here. Okay. Touching on the back of the front one. The very back of this one's touching, the very back of that one's touching. When I pulled the tape off, this boat, the, the paint chips real bad. So uh, it pulled the tape off. I hit it with some super glue. Like I took, uh, I took this little 
capillary tube and a little wire and a drip super glue on there so it don't crack no more sanded it down okay i had to take my razor knife and you know trim up the edges where the tape was because epoxy was built up and it wouldn't just peel off so uh, i got it cleaned up the best i could okay check it out check it out son oh my goodness she's gonna haul tail so hopefully you guys will be able to see it this way okay check her out Oh, look at all the steps. They're all in line. Check it out. Straight as an arrow. Straight as a friggin' arrow, son. Ooh! <laughs> so I actually took my caliper. Okay, I took my caliper here. And I, I put on each ride surface. Okay, made sure they were all the same width. Okay. And you guys know what time it is. Okay, I've like literally spent the last three freaking hours looking for the motor mount for this thing because i was about to take it out i was i was gonna throw it together real quick and take the boat out and i can't find the motor mount i don't know what i've done with it in this freaking gom of a gom here i don't know i thought i i thought i had put it i thought i had put it in my drawer here you know we're gonna make in the next video or upcoming video, we're going to make a custom motor mount, which is what I've been wanting to do. Get this uh, aluminum. I'm going to cut all of this out. I may leave this deck for my battery. I may not. I'm thinking about trimming all of this right here out all the way around. Okay, so I can fit battery and stuff in there. This 50 fly color fits up front. <laughs> she's going to be a heavyweight little pig, but she's going to freaking haul ass. I got 50 mile an hour with my mini mono. So so, in all actuality, in all actuality, the mini mono is the same size. We should get better. We should get better than 50 mile an hour with that motor and this ESC. I had a generic ESC on my mini mono, you know. So we should get better than 50 mile an hour. If you think about it, okay, it's a catamaran, less weighted surface than the mini mono. So that build's coming up. The most important part is getting the edges crisp. Okay nice sharp edges nice sharp backs of the edge make sure they're level to one another i use that glass out in my shop to set it on there's no teeter top back and forth okay oh she's gonna freaking haul ass boys she's gonna haul ass so uh well i'll see you guys next time okay it it's a big project if you're going if you've watched the video this long you're interested in doing it so just know that you got your work cut out for you okay it's a long drawn out process it's not a two hour job i literally got about i would say about 15 hours on this blueprint alone you know here and there here and there you know 12 to 15 hours give or take um it's a big job so hopefully you guys learned something I showed you the whole process minus a couple applications of epoxy and um yeah yeah the, the results kind of speak for itself you know I still got a little bit of cleaning up to do you know I got some tape right there I got to cut that it's hard to cut that carbon fiber and not go through which actually brings me to this I actually carbon uh epoxied and fiberglass the inside of my the inside of my sponsons on both of them okay just a little bit just to add a little bit of extra rigidity you know just in case i sand it through because this thing's super freaking thin and light and um and adding the epoxy fiberglass to the inside actually helps give the outside of the sponson some rigidity because if it flexes your fiberglass will pop off so you need to think about that okay so hopefully you guys learned something. We'll see you next time. Big B. We're not in RC.